Sorry, I, uh... Oh yeah, I gotta do- I have to say it like Davik did. He's like, Sorry! Random guy that we, uh, met on the first planet. It's actually quite funny, the way he says that line. Yeah, so I guess there's something that you can do there with those. I don't even remember that. Alright, game. I'm asking to not... So just please not, uh... Please don't screw up here. Alright. I made an oopsie evil giggle. <laughs> All right, after that little, uh... Sidetrack thing there. See if our game crashes or not. That we're good. What am I sleeping in? Like a Spider-Man suit. Having some visions. It's the location of the next star map. Where is it at? Only I know. New planet. We are we are landing on Tatooine. Go ahead, Basila. The force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course, you must have. The force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. Uh. It looked like it was in some some kind of cave. A star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. All right. All right, so we are our first planet that we're doing after the first two, Terrace and Dantooine, which are... They're both scripted. That Those are the ones you have to go to first. Um, and this, the third planet being one that we can pick ourselves, and uh, we're doing Tatooine first. Um, there was a specific order that I think Basilis says in one of the cutscenes, or... I don't know if... I actually don't even remember if she said it, but... Um, because we had already passed that point. Uh, but she's, she says the specific order that uh, a lot of people just tend to follow. So that's, I guess, the order that I will be following uh, for the most part. So for right now, uh, we're going to be walking through town, checking stuff out. Um, Tatooine, of course. Um, so we will take Basla and we will take Mission. Both of them have... Uh, I guess part of their companion quest, um, on this, uh, this planet. So we'll use them for a bit here. And then, uh, once we get going, we'll switch out to some other people. So, go ahead and do that. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to Zirka serve. Corp. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Excuse me? I'm not paying 100 credits. God, the, the models look so good. In the light. Uh.
Uh, what if I refuse? Zerka Corporation maintains this docking station at great expense. It is within our rights to refuse landing permission. And I warn you, we've had troublemakers before. The bay is lined with auto guns. Violence is not a survivable option. Islands. Um. Can't pay the fee right now if I don't have the money. Is there any way you could reconsider the fee? I assure you that the fee is non negotiable. Can I force persuade him? Very thin margin of profit on this world. Yeah, there you go. Force persuade. I don't need to pay the fee. You know, I don't think you need to pay the fee. Oh. We'll let it go this time. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. I sure wish I had special mind affecting force powers. This will cover any future landings as well. Oh. It's like a registration. So we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? When you're too cheap and don't want to pay the hundred credits, just force persuade. Um, give me some background on Tatooine. There isn't much to tell. It's a very old planet, well past its prime. Zerka Corporation is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. Hmm. What is known about the history of the planet before I ask about your court? Very little. There are hints that it might once have been a lush world. But I can't picture it as anything but a desert. Native sentient species have no records going back that far. That was hundreds of years ago. Maybe thousands. Of course, the native species are not very willing to tell anyone anything. They're <laughs> barely more than animals. Uh, what species do you mean? The sand people. They're vicious and attack outsiders on sight. More animal than anything, really. Maybe they know the history of Tatooine. Maybe they don't. Impossible to tell. They won't cooperate. Have you had trouble with the Sand People? Not personally, but they've given Zerka Corporation a rough time. It's hard enough mining this rock without suffering random attacks. I think the company has even put a bounty on them. But mm. I'm sure not going to try for it. Okay. Where can I get information about jobs like that? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the central anchor head. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. Yeah. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. But we got bounty jobs, uh, trophy hunts, and uh, swoop racing. Sounds uh, like a lot of good stuff. Um, let me say this again. It's I wanted to ask him about Zerka Corp operations here. I can't really get into that. It hasn't been a very smooth operation. Okay. I shouldn't get into it. Force persuade. Yeah. You want to tell me more about uh, it? I I can tell you more. I guess it's not a big secret or anything. Just not good for business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect, and possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Hmm. So Zerka Corp set up shop on a barren planet? Not totally barren. There were a few good years of mining, and limited operations are still in place. But the ore is flawed. It has peculiar properties. They've had to look at other forms of business. 
What do you mean when you say the ore is peculiar? Zerka Corporation has really tried to hide this, but it just seems that Tatooine metal is unfit for effective manufacturing. I would imagine that this outpost will eventually be abandoned. Nobody is making any money here. Of course, this rock may have been settled a few times, so look for some other company to get stuck with it. So these are all going to look... Like, these two questions seem like they're going to go back to him telling me about the building to go into. Pursuits that uh, appeal to the casual traveler. There are some fearsome native species that provide exciting hunting. There are also lengthy barren waste. Soup race. Okay. Back to the other questions. Um... We already asked him about paying work, I think. It depends on why I, I Same stuff for that. Uh, okay, last thing. I'm looking for very specific things. Who should I ask? It's like a dumb question to ask. That's not much information. Could you tell me more? Uh, looking for older things, antiques, artifacts. I'm not gonna tell him we're looking for a star map. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell a what Jawa. they know. Uh, Liver says, I'm searching for some killable younglings. <laughs> I am. I'm looking for younglings. I'm gonna slaughter them all. Um, okay, that's As it. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. I'll be here. Da -da. All right. First off, I'm gonna loot this. Let me loot. Oh yeah, four credits. That'll that'll definitely make me rich. You a swoop racer? Dead in a week, I bet. Put the hell up, man. You're dead. You're dead now. Take my lightsabers out and you're dead. I only watched one Star Wars movie, but I know the memes. That's... If you know the memes, you, you pretty much watched them. It's, uh... It's like a, uh, a quick summary. Um, we don't get much trouble. People die in the desert, not here. People die in the desert. The landing bay is lined with auto guns to keep it safe. Oh yeah. Understand? I'll get rid of them. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Was this the one that was? Was he on uh, terrorists or no? I don't think so. The alien uh, species was. But I don't think this is the same guy from the cantina. His name is Mick Tunnin Just Orgu. Mick Tunnin. Who that? Turn around, you Gunda Fosca. Customers are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. Buy from Mick Tunin. Uh, don't be shy. Just ask to see what you want. Can't get a good look. Uh, we don't, we don't move the merchandise. What do you got for sale? We don't want to keep you from your important business. Please have a look. Damn, the model looks so sharp. Usanis Brand. Ion plus five against droid. Damn. This is the problem though. Like at this point in the game, we have people that use lightsabers and people that use blasters. Really not gonna have someone just use a, a sword or like a like a staff or something like that. But I guess maybe Zalbar will, because I I'll probably use him as a melee build instead of a uh blaster, but yeah, it's like some of these weapons, like I'll never use because I have a lightsaber. Uh, Usanas 
was the most famous of the Ichani warriors, fighting against the oppression and villainy until encountering Darth Revan. Discovering that Revan had killed an Ichani senator, Usanus attempted to tell authorities but fell to the powers of the Sith Lord despite his own impressive abilities and the Cortosis weave inherent in all Ichani vibroblades. Uh, Jamo Hagra's carbine? I kind of love like the different names for weapons and stuff. This weapon was a mercenary, Jama Hagra. Uh, was used to protect him against the many enemies he earned in his lifetime. Hagra's skill didn't match his potential, or its potential, however. Mandalorian Repeater Blaster. Got some of this stuff here. Um, critical hits. Immune to critical hits. Damn. It's actually kind of good. I might buy this. I'll buy this for 150. And then gauntlets, stuff like that. Okay. Not too much. Oh. We we found Gizka poison. Any Gizka ingesting one of these toxic pellets will die within a few seconds. It will also cause the creature to attack all other Gizka in the area, infecting them as well. This is what we need. For that Yavin station. It's exactly what we need. I'll buy this before we leave. That'll get rid of that uh that problem on the space station. Okay, let's talk to him real quick. Ask some questions. Um heard any off-world rumors? That's what everyone talks about. Karis and the Sith and the stirring of change. Could be good, good business, could be bad for business. All we know is that wise people keep low and stay out of the way. Something to always remind your other half. Or if you have one. Uh, you know anything about Tatooine? Not as much as we should. If we knew more, we would have better business. Travelers like us, settlers don't have much to trade. We don't travel far on Tatooine itself, you see. The weather is not like our home. Too dry. Way too dry. Or would I ask to get more information? Always trust the locals, even if they don't trust you. They're the ones who, that really know what's going on. That's true on any world. Okay, last thing I want to ask... Uh, ask about you. McTunin Just is a humble merchant from the Rim. What would you like to know? Are you one creature or two? You're a pardon for asking. You only know one mind, or at least one at a time. We are one now, but weren't always. We grow together, bonded from the age of choosing when we become whole. Not like you. You are half of what you should be. Like Brood Squealer. Er, not that we would want to offend you. We don't want to lose any business. That's just our way as... Hair dog. Uh, your other half doesn't say much. Just because you can't hear it doesn't mean it isn't there. Where do you come from? You could say you couldn't say it, and I don't have the ears for it. Uh, I was supposed to trade. Planes have come to call something. Uh, our world is sorgeous, far off the Perlamian trade route. It's an unimportant stop, we admit. We let uh, for a life. Of, we left for a life of trade because we are strong and a good talker. We have done well. Okay, that's it. Patisa, Patisa, Patisa. All right. Got a whole lot going on. We're just in the docking area. Hello there, Captain. Let's see. Ah, yes, here it is. It looks like the shipment has been delivered to your ship as requested. Uh. Uh. What shipment? 
Well, let's see. Docking Bay 32, check. Crate 42B7, check. Manifest list life form Gizka. Everything seems to be in order. Uh, excuse me, did you say Gizka? It says right here on the manifest that you ordered a crate of Gizka to be delivered to Docking Bay 32. That's right here. Now, all I need is your thumbprint for the... Wait a second. Where'd the data pad go? Uh, nothing is ever organized here. At any rate, the Gizka are yours. One of the loaders said the crate split open once you put it on... Put it in your hold. Some critters might have gotten loose. What happens, I'm afraid? We don't accept liability. We certainly don't... Couldn't take the cargo back. Enjoy. Great. So now I have... Gizka's on my ship. And I guess we can buy that poison and uh, get rid of all of them on our ship for whatever reason, but I'll do that later. Leave me be. If I don't get these converters working, I lose my job. Here's my job. Did I open this? I did. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, what is that? I can just yoink from here. So I take that. Just stole from him. All right, anchor head. Let's go. Two anchor heads. Raidsman. Girls, minor. These don't look like NPCs. They look like they'll, just, they'll say a couple lines. The Republic is too complacent. If they let Terrace fall, do you think they care what happens out here? The Republic is too com- The Republic- The Repub- I still haven't heard a final figure on how many people died on Terrace. He was saying the same thing as the other guy. Euros Minor. Anchorhead, sure different than they said when I recruited. Can't make a life here. The raids on the crawlers hardly make a dent. Uh, the mines are failing anyway. Mine. Mines of Moria. My cousin. It was a grand welcome. What was his cousin's name? Like Bali or something like that? I need to rewatch. Man, let me tell you, if there's something I need to rewatch, I want to rewatch Lord of the Rings Extended Editions and Hobbit Extended Editions. I need to watch those, man. <laughs> I still haven't heard a final figure on how many people died on Terrace. Aronto! Look at me. They go. Animal. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. The hell is this? I'm already walking through and I'm already being begged for stuff. I have no time for beggars. Uh, speak. I am listening. I'll try not to take up too much of your time. I realize that everyone is out for themselves on Tatooine. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Uh, I wouldn't be able to sell it. I'm no hunter. No, but you looked... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you looked equipped like a hunter. Are you sure you're not going to be getting a license? I mean, you don't look like a farmer, and the only way to be allowed out of anger is to get a hunting license. Ah. Uh, where would I get a license and what is it? What's the cost? Zerka Corporation sells them out of their office just south of here in the center of Anchorhead. That's where my husband got his. I think they charge 200 credits, but they've been known to make exceptions. 
Please, no one else will help. Uh, let's talk about what to do with this plate. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. I think I'll just take it for you. Or take it from you. I wanted to ask her other questions though. Perhaps I will buy it? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know- oh, I don't want to get light side points. <sighs> Can I persuade you to go cheaper? Maybe half? Cheaper? Please, it's all I have. I need the credits. Can't you pay the 500? I could, but I don't know if I want to. Hang on. I, I want to ask her questions about the thing. Please. We can come back and ask more questions. Trouble with Gizka. Middleman. The straw woman outside Faza's hunting lodge needs someone to buy a raid plate from her. Should be saving more often. You, please. Uh, what is a raid plate and where did you get it? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Let's go back to my other questions. Uh, why do you need the money? We spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Coruscant. Uh, what happened to your husband? How'd your husband die? I still can't believe he's gone. What do you want to know? Who was he? Tell me about him. His name is... was Ward Fizark. He used to work in the mines, but they scaled back last year. He was new to hunting, but he was a good fighter. He used to be a soldier. We spent everything on his gear. After a few trips, he didn't come back. Guards say his sandcrawler crew found his body stripped of everything. Okay, so we don't know who killed him? Nobody saw anything, and most of the other hunters never even knew him. He had just started. I don't trust any of them. But those Gamorians, they just laugh when they see me. I think they did it. You aren't looking for vengeance? It doesn't matter. There's no justice on Tatooine. I don't care what happens to them. I just need credits. I've got to think about my family, not those vicious pigs. Okay. Well, we're going to have to buy this. Either we buy it or we just uh, take it from her because we're evil. Will you buy it? Perhaps I can. You will? Where did you go? Half. It's cheaper? Half is acceptable. You agree? Half is acceptable to me. I agree. It... It will have to do. I thank you, I guess. Maybe... Maybe it's enough. It troubles me to see you behaving this way. Such acts can lead to the dark side. I'm already to the dark side, Basila. You just don't know it. And we're playing a dark side playthrough, so I got to. I got to do all these things. Even if it's just the minor stuff. Okay, so the hunting lodge is right there. Um, I guess we'll go in. We'll check it out. Dun, dun, dun. This is a new place. We need to walk around and check stuff out. Comad Fortuna. Uh-oh. Are you, uh, like, going to be the grandfather of Bib Fortuna at some point? Let's talk to Fazda here. Fazza. Well, a new face. Come to test your skills on the endless dunes of Tatooine. Fazza's Lodge. Uh, this world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators on this side of the Galactic Rim. A hunter's paradise. Damn, his, uh, dialogue is so fast. 
Everyone else's can be slow and his is like incredibly fast. Uh, what do you do here? It's a hunting lodge. I purchase uh, what the sportsmen bring in. It's not a bad little job. Anything out of the ordinary happening? I mean, Tatooine or just in general? Heard, some dis heard about the destruction of terrorists. Don't know anything specific. I'm not sure. I'm not surprised something happened like that. I remember the X Harkoon War. Sith and the Jedi, something, something. God damn it. Know anything more local? Zerg so Corpus complaining about the sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. But I guess the Jawas are being pushed around again, at least, as they said. Tough, time, tough to tell sometimes. We have to talk to the group more. Okay, I have something to sell you. Sorry, but you're not allowed to even look at what I have until you, I see a hunting license. Zerger Court rules. The other hunters have, all have theirs. I can't make exceptions or I'll get shut down. Um... Got questions about hunting then? Just pay 200 credits for a license down at the Zerka office. Why do I need a license? You need a license because nobody in the city, nobody gets out of the city without one. You want people to know that if they step outside the gate, if they're on their own. Only serious hunters pay 200 credits. Once you got a license, I'll pay whatever spoils of the hunts you bring back. I have off-worlder, off-world buyers that'll take them. Would you consider lowering the fee? It's not up to me. You have to talk to Zerka Corp. Why is there a hunt on Tatooine? Uh, I can find themselves to a hunting raid. Large fleshy beast. As tall as a man. Or tall man. Desert raid have large bone plates on their head that I pay well for. That's the real glory here. I probably heard about the big prize. The crate dragon. The most fearsome predator in the galaxy they are. Uh... You can find one, and I doubt you will. I'll buy the stones polished in their gizzard. Dragon pearls. Dragon are, dragons are rare, then. You think it'd be easier to find such a gigantic creature? Komad's father took one down, but that was years ago. Komad's right here. What's so special about Komad's father? He's been a hunter for years using strict traditional methods. Komad is just like him. Maybe he'll show you a thing or two out in the dunes. I can't believe how fast this alien language is. This is the fastest out of all of them. It's kind of annoying. Um, so I can't even talk that fast. We're going to find Komad. Right over there. Ask about Tatooine? It's a barren place. Managed to get some off world hunters to show. Those are trouble like anywhere else. We have to ask someone else. Okay. Alright. So, we could sit in here and we could talk to all these aliens. Or I could go get the license and come back. Which I will do. Get the license and then we'll come back.